Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Push, and I just wanted to show you a little gameplay, talk about the game a bit, kind of a little review. Uh, so the basic idea of the game is you're pushing buttons, and it starts off very simple, just blank buttons to press. Doesn't matter what order. Here's more of them. You just press them all, push them all. Very basic, but. It's a little more complicated, not too complicated. Uh, here you just need to, well, before I say anything, if you don't want spoilers, because part of the fun of the game is discovering uh, how things work, what the game wants from you by experimenting. So if you don't want to know anything about it, you just want to figure it out for yourself, stop watching. Uh, for everyone else, so with this level you start, to, um, you need to separate the buttons, the like buttons. So, for instance, press all the squares together, now press all the circles together, and then you have all the blanks left. So, still very basic. Um, let me skip ahead. Let me skip ahead for you. So here, things get a little more complicated. We have numbers, so you have to press them in order, and the pink buttons rotate things. So you have to find all the, the number ones, and the only other ones are five, so you have to go in five and six, so you have to go in ascending order, so find all the sixes, and now they blink to show you, or the flash to show you that you did it. Now there's also lines. So that works in the opposite way. You want to go in descending order. So find most lines, then fewer, then that. And then again the blanks. And don't forget this button, hiding two blanks. So part of the game is when there's buttons like that that could be hiding things and the order matters a lot later. Here, again, if you don't want to know, um, through experimentation, you should figure out that black and white need to alternate. So, black, white. And if you do white again, it, uh, it uh, resets. So, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. Fairly simple, but that's added to other mechanics as you progress. So here, you have dots. So, white dot, black dot, white dot, black dot white dot, black dot. Now you have to do the same with the blanks. Uh, white blank, black, white, black, white, black. So let's progress a little more. Here, same thing, but you have to do it with numbers. I'm not going to show you. I want you to be able to solve these things for, you, for yourself. Here, things get a little more interesting. When you press these buttons, it changes the whole to another piece with a different colored background. Again, I'll let you figure that one out. It's fun to solve yourself. Uh, here, hmm, where is everything? So remember, these rotate. And now, again, I'm going to show you this because I want to, that's part of the point of this video to show you what the puzzles are like. So here you have to match, um, like opposites, basically, the two pieces that together will make up a black square. So, for instance, let's start with this. There's three legs on it, and this one has three spaces for it. So when you get two correct, when you get a pair correctly, it'll blink and, or flash and stay put, stay pressed down. Um, so let's find another one. Here's this one and this one. So there you go. Just keep going like that. You have a dot. Make sure. Yeah, that. And of course then there's the squares. Again, I'm not going to solve this all for you. Here are things you have, to, you have to remember them because it spins, so you might not always have a view of two buttons that match at the same time. And then... Here, 
I like this one just because it's fun to. Uh, so here you have three thing, three pink beams that rotated in different directions. And again, you have ones, and then you have to find all the other ones. Make sure that you didn't miss any. So then you can go for the threes. gonna bother with the rest for you I'll let you figure that out but um gets more complicated here this rotates and this rotates um so I do want oh and then let me show you that so this is a fun one too you press this look what happens it, and then there's this button that rotates so there's a lot going on you need to find everything and all these things come together so this one is, this is the weak point for me in the game. Um, luckily there's only a few levels like this, but let me show you. So you use the little arrow button to rotate this cube and then press the red, the other red button to move it in that direction. So it's a little um, tedious, awkward. There's many words you could use for this. I really didn't like it and it gets worse than this. Uh, but this is how it works. Now you do the two dots. Not really the best. I mean, for a very tactile game that's mostly um, touchscreen friendly, this felt very awkward using those two buttons. Um, and when there's more buttons, it gets pretty complicated and a little annoying. Like here, um, the way it, it just it's annoying to rotate it, and then you have to. Make sure you don't tap anything, tap the wrong thing when there's like three or four different buttons you could be pressing because if you mess up you have to restart. So I'm not my favorite but there's only a few of these. There's only a few of them and then you get to this part which is my favorite. So it's only like maybe halfway through the game, maybe even less. And it's just so great. You, you have arrows. So here it's very simple, just to show you what it is. The dots and the others, the dots are separate. And then the next one shows you. This is not a, that exciting, but you can see it always starts here. And another one will show you. it continues so here you have to find it and they wrap around that's where it gets really interesting you wrap around to the other side and it gets pretty complicated later these were my favorite puzzles so here let me show you just for instance uh, so it starts here and then you have to go wrap around to the other side but then that's pointing in the other direction it gets really clever. So here's more, you have to follow the arrows, and it just gets more and more complicated. I can show you a few how they look. Here you have buttons, the pink button. Here you start having the black and white to deal with at the same time. And later you'll have black and white and switches and buttons and it gets really nice. Uh, here you have to rotate them. So here you have a bunch of switches. You have to figure out what are really, really interesting. Um, and here, where are they? There they are. Rotate them, you have to find them. They're hidden. Um, this has switches and this and another button. Lots of lots of things going on. So I really like these arrows. Look, where is it hiding? I'm not going to show you this one. It gets pretty tricky just because of the way. I mean, arrows could have been their own game on their own. 
without anything else, I think. But the, it introduces all the mechanics earlier on, so when you get to the arrows, there's a lot to work with. This is another tricky one. The middle spins. This spins. Everything spins. Another tricky. So, I'll just fast forward just to show you what some of the later ones look like. Switches. Look how complicated things get. Switches, switches everywhere. So, check it out. It's push. It's not a long game. There's only 65 levels, but uh, once you get past the early mechanics, it really opens up and everything comes together. There's some really good puzzles. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not gonna last you long, but it's also cheap, so I think it's supposed to be 99 cents. So it's, it, you know, for 99 cents we'll get maybe an hour of enjoyment. I think it's worth it. Uh, anyway, check it out. Push. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.